I'm Dr. Brand Gibson, and welcome back. I'd like to talk to you today about nerve repression. And we're going to go a little bit more focused into the TENS unit, or the electrical stimulation of the nerves as a form of repression. So let's take a step back again, remind you what we're looking at. When you're treating peripheral neuropathy, you're really going to do it in five different categories. You're going to do nerve repair, which is the most valuable get the nerves to function like they're supposed to by fixing them, by getting them to not be damaged. Number two is nerve repression. This is the most common that's used. It's actually designed to decrease symptoms and make the symptoms so they don't interfere with your life. Number three would be nerve re-education. We're actually getting the nerve to communicate correctly with the brain and spinal cord. Number four is the nerve reset, where it's like shutting off a computer. The nerve's not working like it's supposed to, so you depolarize it, repolarize it again, get it to start to function like it's supposed to. It does a really good job of improving uh, weak nerves or slow slow signals in the nerves by resetting it actually can allow that process to improve. And number five is to release the nerves. This is a very valuable piece of the puzzle. It's a piece that most people forget about, but there are things you can do physically and mentally and so forth to take control of the nerve pain and actually get control back. So let's talk about a TENS unit. Um, and this is a very, very valuable piece of the puzzle as far as for nerve release. And so what I'm gonna do is move this out of the way here a little bit, just because there's some things we can do right here. So let's consider this, uh, we better get a pen that will actually draw. Let's consider this a nerve signal. Not a great, not a great amount, but if you have a, if you have a line here that goes right right through there. That's kind of the, the nerve signal here. Um, and so what we're get, getting at is you're saying, okay, you've got a nerve signal and it's basically, it'll start here, then it goes up and around and then back down to the line, right? And that's your nerve signal. That's the normal nerve signal. When you have problems with it, say you've got numbness, instead of coming up like this, it's gonna come down and have a decrease there. If you've got pain, it's gonna go up and be a, an increase. And so you're gonna have a, a more of a problem that way. So what is the purpose of a TENS unit? What does a TENS unit do? Let me switch back to a pen here. So with a TENS unit, what you're doing is you're, give, you're sending signals. And you'll send signals over and over again, and over and over again, and you're just doing it over, this period of time, the purpose of that is just to get a signal, a signal, a signal. And what you're doing is you're overstimulating the nerve and making it not have pain, not have the symptoms. You're actually shutting down the symptoms by just creating electrical current, electrical current, electrical current. And you're just hitting it over and over and over again in a sequence that completely shuts it down. And so it allows you to not have symptoms. It's a very valuable option for repressing the nerve symptoms. Um, it usually works while you're on the TENS unit. It doesn't necessarily work for a long period of time afterwards, but it is valuable. It's something you can use. They even make TENS units now that you can actually wear. So you can actually strap them onto your leg. And when you're out doing your activities, you can actually have the, the stimulation that will keep the nerve symptoms down without being so strong a stimulation that it's making it so you can't walk or anything like that by stimulating the muscles too much. So that's an option there. Um, what I would like to do is talk to you a little bit about a specialized TENS unit, a very, very high-powered type TENS unit that's designed for an even better purpose. And when it comes to this one, we'll change colors again, because why not? That'll make it easier so you can actually tell the difference. With this one, it's actually like a TENS unit, but it actually is a smart TENS unit. So it reads what the nerve's doing. So it sends a signal, listens to what, how the nerve responds, and it adjusts for it. And so basically what it's doing is it's saying, okay, I'm, I'm going to go right in sequence with the nerve and adjust for it. And by doing that, by doing it at the same frequency and the same speed and this exact same signal as the nerve, this TENS unit can actually adjust for different types of symptoms. So for example, if you say, okay, I'm having numbness in this nerve then it can actually adjust for that, or it's saying, okay, I have pain. Like we said, numbness is going down, pain is going up. And so in that case, you're gonna get the same type of thing. It's where it's gonna follow the nerve, 
but it gets here and it has numbness, so it adjusts it. It's here and it has pain, so it adjusts. And then it follows that nerve. And so it truly actually causes the nerve to function like it's supposed to. Um, so a TENS unit is a really valuable tool to repress the symptoms. The smart send unit, the rebuilder is what it's called, actually listens to it. And so it does the repression as well and is very valuable at doing that repression. But the good thing it also does is it allows it to do a little bit more. So instead of just repressing the symptoms, it's also re-educating that nerve. So it's causing that nerve to also start to communicate more correctly with the brain and spinal cord. So it's repressing, very, very valuable repression, but it also re-educates the nerve and helps it to function more like it's supposed to. This is really valuable. This is a great option. And this is something you should consider. So if you're saying, okay, I would, I'm interested in possibly getting a TENS unit, or possibly doing something like that for my peripheral neuropathy, reach out to us. Um, we have the, those as options. You can go to drbrandgibson.com. You can go to treatmentsforneuropathy.com. Both of those will allow you to get access to us and say, okay, I need additional care. I need additional treatments. I want to take control of my neuropathy and have something that I can use to repress the symptoms. The Rebuilder is the best option, but TENS units are also available. This is Dr. Brandt Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nuggets Day 379, repressed neuropathy through TENS units, or in our case, the specialized TENS units called the Rebuilder. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day.